Greetings, greetings to you ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Shakespeare's YouTube channel. If you are new to this YouTube channel, please uh, subscribe, click on the notification bell. And I encourage you to like, comment, share, and um, most importantly, subscribe. If you are a retaining um, viewer, Please uh, like if you really like the content that I upload on this YouTube channel. If you have any suggestion or any comment that you think is helpful to um, administrators of this YouTube channel, please uh, please do share with us on the in the in the, in the comment section. Um, we have covered a lot of uh, practicals when it comes to. Uh, information technology when it comes to computer engineering when it comes to automation and control engineering so we've covered a lot and we are still moving we are still traveling we are still in the journey so what we want to do is we want to reach uh, a certain level where we can say um, our viewers now have uh, a full understanding of this field, especially in the introduction of computer uh, applications uh, and uh, maybe computer systems, uh, all those things. We encourage you to watch uh, these uh, video tutorials so that you get full understanding and uh, we are uploading our content on this platform because you will have access to it 24-7. And secondly, there is no space limitation, and uh, it's, it's, it's ubiquitous. You can access it anytime from any corner of the world. So, allow me to say hi to everybody watching me from any corner of this uh, planet Earth. And uh, maybe if it gets to another planet, then I also greet you in the name of Jesus. Uh, let's uh, begin. Today we're going to cover um, Microsoft Office Word. Uh, we've covered a lot, a lot of um, practicals about uh, Microsoft Word. The basics I've covered them with you. If you haven't um, watched the content, uh, please click on the link in the description so that you can access uh, the basics of Microsoft Office Word. And uh, we also, I also have. Um, Microsoft uh, Office PowerPoint covered in this uh, in this uh, on this uh, YouTube channel, so you can click on the links in the description, or you can find or play around with the, with the YouTube channel. So if you just want to find more content about uh, this YouTube channel, just search Shakespeare, and then you find the YouTube channel with this logo that you are seeing here. You will find um, the YouTube channel and the YouTube content. So today we're going to cover referencing in Microsoft Office Word and uh, we're also going to do what is called um, what, I'm going to, what I'm going to call um, a standard single chapter of a thesis. A standard single chapter of a thesis. But what I mean by this is um, a standard chapter is the one that is having uh, references. That's number one. And number two, it's having a table of contents. It's having a table of figures. It's having a table of tables. It's having um, uh, a, a, a navigation pen where you, where you can move from one chapter to another by just clicking the button. I'm so sorry about the sound that is uh, in the background. Uh, it's my fan, and outside there's also some noise of industrial guys who are doing their work out there. So, uh, my apologies for all the inconveniences caused by the sound, background sound. <clears throat> right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to talk about uh, Microsoft Office Word. And in my case, I'm going to use Office Word 2013. Previously, I was using Office Word 2016, and a number of people were confused and saying, so you are coming up with a brilliant PowerPoints, 
uh, isn't it that uh, the, the office that we're using is um, the latest version? That's why I'm not uh, cannot come up with the same kind of content. So I'm now using this Word 2013 to prove to you that Word 2013 can also do uh, what I was doing in uh, Word 2016. But I do not encourage people to use Word 2018. I encourage people to use the latest version that is available at any time, the latest version of Microsoft Office. So, to my knowledge, I think uh, another version of Office is coming better than 2016, or it's already there. I'm not sure, but I'm, what I've used is 2016. Right, so let's open Office 2016. I cannot teach you how to open Office 2016 and some content covering those areas. And you can watch the videos that uh, concentrate on opening Microsoft Office Web. So, what I will do is, for the sake of progress, just say Office, just search Office after clicking or pressing. Microsoft Office, the Microsoft Windows button. So you type Word in there. You will see the version of uh, Office installed coming up as Word 2016, Word 2018, Word 2010. I encourage you to use Word 2018 uh, or better. Right, as we open, uh, uh, right, this is the, the Words application software that she is using, so it's blank. It's blank. It doesn't have anything. So the first thing is, uh, we have to save a document. So we click on files. We click on save. Just save. Click save. Save here, yeah. and then you choose the browser where you want to to save your document. So you can browse. After clicking on Browse, you can uh, select a folder where you want to save your document in. Let's say I want to save it in Documents, and in Documents I want to name it as um, Reference. Let me just say Standard Faces. Chapter. Right, that's the name that I want you to, 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 to give it, or you can give it your own name. Let's say Shakespeare. Shakespeare standard um, thesis chapter. <coughs> you can give it your, uh, any name of your choice, so you can save it in documents. And then, what we want to do is our standard document has got a cover page. So it has got a cover page, it has got uh, an abstract, it has got a, um, um, what else, what else, cover page, type of contents, a type of figures, type of uh, categories, abstract, um, I'm just saying off yet, because I don't, I don't want to have a certain structure, but you can you can rely on the regulations of your school or your university uh, so that you don't um, you don't uh, violate the regulations of your school or department so what i'm going to teach you is technical or technical ability i'm going to give you a technical skill on writing a standard document with the references so the first thing before you write you save your document after that you then open your browser. You open your browser. And here is your browser. The browser opens. Right, I'm using Opera in my case. You, can, you might be using uh, Firefox. You might be using Chrome. You might be using any other kind of browser, Edge, and so forth and so forth. So, what I want to do is, as researchers, we are encouraged to find the sources from Google Scholar. And scholar, Google Scholar is scholar.google.com. So that's the link to Google Scholar. You say scholar.google.com. Then you press enter on the keyboard. 
it's not relevant. All right. After that, you can search what you want to search. So what I want to say, maybe I can search. Uh, I'm writing a, a, a document about uh, computers. So maybe I want to find the definition of what a computer is. So computer uh, uh, definition. Let me just say defini definition of a computer. Then I can search that. Then the year comes the results. But I don't want. I want only documents from 2017 up to 2021. So I can click on 2017 so that I get uh, documents or articles written from 2017 up to date. Or you can have a, a custom range to say I want from 2017 to 2019. I'm saying 2019, 2019. We can have these articles. These are articles within the range 2017 to 2019. But why can't I have up to 2021? So if I do that, I can find these articles. So I'm two, three, four. So I can say open a new tab so that I open my, my article. So this is the article that I want to reference in my document. And maybe I want to read this document at home. So what I'm going to do is and I want to get the PDF. So I click here on get PDF here. It depends on the website that you are accessing the article from. So after clicking the PDF from here, you didn't come uh, some documents are not accessible. Full content is not accessible here. Okay, so this one is not accessible. But I'm sure that um, each and every institution has got a way of accessing these documents. They have already paid for, for access so that their students can have full access to these, uh, to these documents. So since we do not have access to this, Maybe you may read uh, the abstract and you may want to reference it. You will see how we can reference such content. Uh, let's open another document and try to get uh, the, the PDF document or PDF article so that you can read it offline at home. Uh, this one might require us to get access as well. Uh, we can have access to this. Article as well. So, so what I'm going to do is, for the sake of progress, and and um, maybe maybe it's because I'm not clicking on, on, the, on the PDF link. Let me just close this and that as well, and click here. Let me check if it's going to give me yes so the pdf you can get the pdf from like that so what i'm going to do is i will open this close that and i'll open this in a new tab i'll open this in a new tab as well so these are the pdf documents that i'm getting from this website so yes 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 i'm getting the pdfs yes ah, perfect so <clears throat> These are the, the, the three documents that I want to reference. Let me just add some more. Uh, computer definition. And these, these articles ranges from 2017 up to 2021. Let me add another um, article. Uh, computer definition. Computer gaming or interactive. Uh, interactive. Computing. All right, I have another interactive computing. I can add it there. I can open these PDF documents. Uh, I can also add that. So if you want to get PDFs, you just search it like that. Or maybe you can add to say I want only PDFs documents. So you say PDF. So you can see PDF documents only other ones. Uh, appearing at the top 
and to have more of a PDF documents. So I just, we just want to have uh, a few, a few references, a few references, All right? So, so let's say we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you want to have the same document as mine, you just have to follow on uh, clicking that, or you can copy the total, the title, sorry, the title of this document paste it and you can find the same document type the type or the title you copy the title and search it from online for instance let's say i want to get this article you can copy it there and then maybe paste it on there and paste it there you will find it uh, as the first article here and then you get this is the document you can uh, go ahead and read the content so welcome to a let's just check if it's the same uh, welcome to a axis yeah welcome to a axis so it's just the same document so we now have our, 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 our document so if you want to have the same documents uh, in, in your library you can have uh, these documents in your library so what i'm going to do is i'm going to download these these documents and i'm going to save them in on the desktop and i'm going to create a folder on the desktop and i'm going to name that folder as um, library as my library i'm going to save it as my library desktop i'm going to create a new folder the folder I'm going to name it as the uh, is a bit slow. I'm going to name it as um, my library. So I'm going to save all the documents there. So I've downloaded that one and also download that. It's getting into the same same folder. So that so whenever even if I lose internet connection, I can still read this content offline and still refer to it correctly in my document. So the first stage is gather all the sources, gather all the sources that you wish to use. But even if you gather a, one million sources, you definitely need to search online again after reading one or two of the articles. So I'm not saying if you gather all the sources that you think are necessary, you are good to write the whole document without searching again on the internet. So what you need to do is gather as much as you can or we just gather a few, just five. And then from those five, you will find the correct direction on uh, finding the sources. So you might find that, uh, you might find out that uh, after reading the first, the, the first article, you, you, your actual way, you're not getting a, a full understanding and you might observe that the rest of the documents that you've downloaded, they're not necessary. Or you might actually read them for the sake of reading them because you've downloaded them and you will find that after reading them nothing was added to the, the value that you wanted to get from from the from the sources so we've downloaded these uh these documents so we may close we may close these uh we may close um you may close the browser and here, what you're going to do is enter references. So, before we start typing in here, we have saved our we have saved our document as Shakespeare standard cases chapter, and then we have our application which is Word. I'm going to rush through the interface so that whenever when we start acting up, when we start 
writing a document or when we start the practical you will understand uh, the, 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 the jargon when i say this tab you are going to go to the tab when i say command you go to the command when i say group you go to a group so these are the tabs we have one tab insert tab design tab the page layout tab the referencing tab references tab we have menus tab we have review tab we have view tab so these are the tabs these are the tabs these are the tabs that we have and this area is what is called the ribbon and within the ribbon we have groups under home we have clipboard group font group paragraph uh, styles editing and so forth and then under clipboard we have format paint under font we have uh, font family or um, the font type we have the font size we have uh, styles bolding italizing underlining uh, subscript, superscript, cancelling, and so forth and so forth, and text color and so forth and so forth. So, these are the commands in here, or the patterns, and these are the groupings or the groups. Under this, under insert, we have tables with pages, is we have illustrations, is is groups. So, I'm going not, not going to waste a lot of time on this. If you want more detail, you can watch our previous uh, videos about this web application software. Right, we have downloaded all the content that we want, and then the first thing, the next thing is you must know the structure of your document. So this is chapter one. So the first thing is. Um, Let's just let's just start with um, the cover page. So we just start with uh, the, the the draft or the overall structure of your document. We have the cover page, and then from the cover page we have what a, a chapter chapter. Uh, let's say chapter one and then and then we have uh, we also have that um, we put the title of the chapter chapter one is the introduction and then in chapter one we have item one point one but before we go up there we have the character page we have an abstract abstract and then from the abstract what do we have mm, background 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 and background we have intro action introduction so this introduction is introduction of this chapter the introducing the your introducing your audience or your readers to the chapter and then we have uh, so maybe yes so from cover page let's just say table of contents then we have a uh, table of fields and then we have table of tables and then we have um, our abstract and then from there we now have uh, item 1.1 1 .1, which is uh, background so this is uh, you see the practical has started so at a 1.1 meaning to say this is 1.0 so this is 1.1 and uh, you go to home you see this one is now a number you click on it like that you will see that this numbering is highlighted and we have that alignment so item number one one we have what background 
of a story. This is coming off my head. Don't say you are starting with the wrong um, chapter or don't say you are starting with uh, background is supposed to be on the last is last part of the document. No, I'm not focusing on the structure of the document. The structure of the document is guided by your school or your department. So I stand to be corrected if I'm doing anything wrong, but I'm doing this for the sake of technical understanding of on how to write these things. So the second thing is a background of study. Then we have introduction. Introduction. And then from the introduction, what we have? Um, introduction. Let's just say um, statement of a problem. And then from the segment of a problem, we have um, main A. And then from the main A, you can see that uh, these items are now automatically numbered. They are now automatically numbered. And from main A, now we have uh, research. Or Teams. And we also have research questions. Uh, you may also have a hypothesis being just after statement of a problem. If I'm wrong, I stand to be corrected. Mm, from research questions, let's just say we are done with the first part here. And then let's just say literature. Literature review, a brief of literature review, and then from a brief of literature review, all you can have is um, these are the top headings that I'm just writing here. Then from literature review, we have uh, a small methodology and introduction of the methodology. And then from methodology, we have um, maybe the conclusion. Conclusion. We conclude the chapter. And then from there, we have our references. References. Right, so these all these they are headings, but now we want to have them as one to have, we want to have them labeled. So this is chapter and it's chapter what chapter one and this is heading one. So you might observe that your chapter one, if you click on heading one, is giving you a blue color. What you can do is you right click on that and then you click on modify. You can choose the color that you want from where you can choose the color here. You can choose the color here. If you want green, you can have green. If you want black like me, you can choose black. And you can choose the size of heading one, which is 18. In the font family or font type. You can choose, I choose Times New Roman, which I think is the one that is standard and it's used in many universities. Then I can choose uh, to say, even if I create a new document, let it be, let it based on this template. Then let me, you can tick here so that whenever you click on something and want it, you want it to be heading one, it will automatically update and click OK. So this is heading one, and all these, this one is heading two, this one is heading two, this one is heading two, and this one, you just click A, and click heading two, click upshot, and it's heading two, and this one as well is heading two, and that one, so you see, 
I want this to be 1.1. So I want my number to, 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 to stand 1.1 on like that. And this one I want it to be heading to. This one I want it to be heading to. 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 So doing this at this stage of writing a document, it, it gives you uh, proper structure and proper understanding of your document. So this is 1.2. So before we do proceed, let's click on view tab and then click on the navigation pane under show. You can see the navigation pane come up on there. So you can see chapter one is what these chapter the these headings and then 1.2 this is 1.3 and this is 1.4 and this is 1.4 and this is 1.5 and this is 1.6 and this is 1.7 this is 1.8 and uh, this is 1.9 and this is 1.9 something like this so the document is now proper and these things these subheadings and these headings are not numbered and uh, this document also includes page numbering. <coughs> it also includes page numbering. So, as we, we are done with all that, what we now need is if you click on you can go to reference. If you click on cover page, you go back to cover page. You see. So, uh, I'm sure we are done with uh, the first stage. Of this uh, document. So what I'm going to do is I, I I'm going to just copy and paste uh, uh, some content on each and every heading. But on introduction here, I want this to be numbered. So what I do is I click on and then enter on this number on this one on this one. I choose this chapter heading number, chapter heading number. So it gives me to say this is chapter. It's now it's giving this is it's naming this is chapter two. I don't know why it's giving me this is chapter two, but you will see that maybe maybe it's because um, what is it? Maybe it's because I have hit in one somewhere. This hit in two, this hit in two, this hit in two, this hit in two, this hit in two. To pay in the ratings. So maybe I don't know why it's, it's giving me this. So you can right click it and uh, click on restart it one. You now I have chapter one. This is because we want to, if we want to have some figures and some tables. Each figure must be named according to the chapter and its occurrence in the chapter. So that's so what we what we are trying to have in this uh, on this document. I hope that we are all following and understanding what we are doing here, and I ensure that it helps everybody who needs to write. A, 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 a proper and a standard document for, for as a thesis or as anything. So once we are done with this, maybe if you are sure that you want to refer to certain documents, you may add them here. After references, you click on references and then you say insert citation, but we cannot insert a citation here. So what you do is what I'm going to do is for chapter one 
you press enter here and make sure that if you click on home this cursor is blinking at this point while uh, no more heading is uh, selected you observe that the text that i'm going to type here that's uh, maybe the brief introduction so what i'm going to talk about here let me just copy and paste some text from the internet and just copy and paste some text from the internet and just say some text i'm just copying some text right so let me get some text here right so let me get this text this is going to be my introduction so i can press it there so what i've done is yeah, you can right click here a and click on any best options any of the best options and click on that one text is now there and then uh, you can you can now um, edit it i just, just highlighted it and i want it to be just fine and it now looks fair smart all right so that's the text that i I've typed there then the background background let me say let me just save this text as well as my background remember we are not here to talk about the content so this one is now that is two but we don't want it to be two so this is that just x x x x right now uh, i'm done with the uh, background of the study and then some say in this background of the study you may wish to have uh, references so let's just put some references uh, let me say put some references there and uh, the reference that i want to put in there is this one so what i do is um, let me zoom it in and do it like that and then you can see that these are the authors this is the first order the second order and the third order and they are affiliated to this university and the title of the document is that and um, the journal is that so what i want to do is is to add a, a, a reference on this portion so what i do is i click on references um, references uh tab i have you do not have this instead citation you do not have this kind of um, uh, button or command unless you have installed a mendeley application so i'm not going to work on these two buttons but i'm going to use the word uh, net, uh, Microsoft Office native word referencing uh, buttons. So you click on insert citation, I click there, I add a new source. So the source is you can add a book, you can add a book section, journal article, article in whatever, whatever. All these you can reference all those websites and so on and so forth. So what I want to, to, to reference today. It's a journal article, and I'm sure it's a journal article. This one, right? It's a journal article. Then who wrote the article? Maybe um, two documents. Right. So, in set citation, add new source, journal article, author. 
so here I do have many others so I can add it and then go to the source and then say this is my author and I'm assuming that the last name is the one that is uh, end and I come there and put in the last here last name and then the first name is what is the first name the first name of your author this is the first name of your author it's Alexander 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 and then the middle name is the one there not damaged not damaged to put the middle name there then I edit the order and then I come back there and uh, take last name of the second order I paste it here then I take the first name I'm just highlighting and press uh, Control C. So let me just open on screen keyboard so that you can see what I'm pressing. So I'm saying I highlight, I say Control C, and then we go to my right. And then click on control V. The middle name, there's no middle name. I can add that one. And then uh, the third author is Hartman. Hartman. And then paste Hartman there. And then get the first name, which is Norton. Norton. There. And I add, I say, okay, because these are the three others that I have. And then core order is not an organizational. It's not an organizational document. It's not a com company document. And then it, the title is needed there. Let me get the title. If I do anything wrong, please correct me. I also want to learn from these things. So I can highlight the title. Copy. That's why I encourage people to give you comments and their suggestions. Put the comment there. Then the general name. General name mostly it appears here at the top. It appears at the top most of the time. Then you put it there. Then the year. Yeah, 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 it is there. You can read the document if you can find it there. It's 2018. So it's 2018. All right. The pages you can put them there. One, maybe if you have page number one, and page number five, and page number seven, and then you can say okay. You will see that. The, 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 the reference is inserted automatically here but this reference uh, is of a certain style and the style is upper it's upper sixth edition so it's giving us that 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 right uh, I think this a mistake. A mistake with this reference. Okay. Yes, I think there's a mistake. So if you want to edit this source, this source you can see click on my sources. Then you can see that you have that. And I uh, can edit it. Right, I don't know. General name is that? Yeah. Right. I think I made a mistake there. The year is 2018. That's why I made a mistake there. Right, so with the year 2018, this source exists in your master list and current document. Do you want to update both lists with these changes? Yes. So I can close it. 
right? You can see that we now have a proper reference of the upper using the upper sixth edition star. So you can change this tab here. You will see, you can see that once you are done, once you are done with your document, you can actually change these tabs. You can change to this. If you have that. If you use this tab, it's going to come like this. But I don't want to use that. I'm going to use up. So this is uh this is I want to. To use that as um, right. So let's say I, I say it, it's 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 uh, this is these authors who talked about what is being referred to by this statement. So this is a uh, subject subject uh, related citation but author based citation it uh, starts with the author or you are actually referring to the author maybe you say uh, Martin said or you can say according to Martin this is a, this is a b c d right so we know our first reference and then in introduction we we're going to have the same content we're going to have a different citations well let me just get more text from the internet let me just get more text from the internet we have the internet here I think the Lorem is the standard text to, to use. Let me just let me continue using this Lorem text. So that is that, 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 that. Yeah, you can have statement of a problem. Yeah, so let me just say um, simple introduction so that I get the content simple. Introduction. So we have protection. This is a this is a simple introduction. So I can put it there. And uh, mostly in introductions. And then I want you can see that it's, it's, it's coming like this. So what I do is I just click on normal and then it goes to normal. Right. So normally an introduction is heavily cited. An introduction is heavily cited. So what we do is we want to cite another order. And this one we've cited we cited this all these others and then we have another paper here you can see that this paper is with one two three four five six seven others this one is having seven others hmm. yeah this is interesting so what we're going to do is we are going to say a call d Right, and then we insert the citation there. Oh no, I used the wrong one. I wanted to use this one, but anyway, let me just click on that one. It will give me an error because it didn't open the application. So I'm going to use this one and I'm going to add a new source. And this is a journal as well, and it's very uh, Lewis. So this is the order, the first order. 
so you can keep there and then click on edit and then paste the a cut touch control x and then i paste it the first name and put the only name there and then i add who is the next author i'll try to move as fast as i can <coughs> Please forgive me if I'm reducing the volume. It's happening unknowingly. It's happening unknowingly. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. And uh, this is the author. Last name. Just focus on not exactly three. I'll try to move a bit fast because I don't want this to take long. And probably and this is the last just name we put it there and then I end and then I uh, have my author. I just want you to see how it differs if you have two authors and if you have three or four authors and if you have seven authors. So if you do this manual, if you write if you write your references manual, then you face a challenge when you want to add a, a, a reference list. You will see that if you add a reference list using this method, automated method, then you will not face any challenges. So this is free, very free right in front of you so let's say count yes. right in front of you for free this thing is for free for free for free for free for free so i'm sure that this is the last button Eight. and then these are our authors one two three four five six seven and then we click on add okay then the title of the document let's go up there and get the title it's saying uh, my person is and then we copy it we right click there we paste it then journal name and the journal name now is not available the journal name is not there normally it's it's a head it's a head it comes as a header or oh, it's uh oh, what you do is what you can do is you can copy that to find the the the, the, the the journal we can paste the title there and so you can paste it there and uh, you can open it as a website there and you can see that this is exactly the document and it's available on this ACM digital library so that's uh, the journal this is the journal if not mistaken or maybe you can find the journals there now this was a report and it was um, let's just say ACM digital library that's the journal ACM ACM Digital Library is as the journal and then the name the, 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 the date you can try to find the date from the document but here you cannot find any date you cannot find any date 
That's the disadvantage of working offline. But yes, here is the date here, 2021. Here, you can see the date there, 2021. So that's the date, that's the year, 2021. Maybe you have read the whole document, so maybe you don't mind. Right, so you can see that this time it's saying Lewis et al. et how many and others. So, according to this other, uh, according to this other, edit citation, uh, you can edit the citation. Alright, uh, what, what we do is, when we want to refer directly to the author, not to the subject, talked about by, by an author, what we do is, when we say according to, or when we say uh, this author said, we don't have to, we don't need to have it um, all bracketed like that. What we do is, we edit this, we convert citation to static text. It doesn't affect how you're going to get the site the, 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 the list of your references. So according to this author, uh, the bridge will rise. The bridge, so I'm sure I think uh, we must we need to have a comma there. According to Lewis and his friends. The bridge will rise approximately those meters above the river surface and span. So what we do is we want to justify this text. Go to home, justify it. Perfect. So we save that. And I'm sure that we now understand how to cite a document or how to cite some documents. And on references here, you have your references. It's now easy for you to add references there. What you can do is under citations and bibliography, you click on bibliography. Why will your, your case is blinking just below the references tab? And then you choose the, 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 you choose, uh, the type of reference. Uh, references list that you want in this case i want and you choose this one so you can observe that i now have this as a heading but i don't want that to be heading one i want it to be heading two and this is going to be numbered as uh, one point ten as before and then i can remove this but this is one point nine Point nine, and then uh, I can remove this here, and then I remain with my one point nine. Right, so I have my references there. They are well sorted. L first, M follow L M, and these are my references. And they are all recent, 2018 and 2021. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste uh, some content, some content. Let's just say main A. Let's just say to write a standard word. With references on a page a pro page memory a section. Uh, what else are we going to have in this? Mm. References, proper page numbering, 
Total for mountain and um, table contents. What else besides type of contents? Table with figures. Table of figures that we have. We have um, as I say, and table of tables. First, and then we have our objectives. Objective number one. And just say, and just number it is this. Objective number one. So save our document yeah, true. Um, apply in um, reference styles. Formal spelling is wrong. And right click on it and select the proper spelling. So let's just say these are our objectives and maybe the research questions. I will just paste them and apply this. And this and do this is getting me enter and item one okay uh, I'm facing a challenge here I'm just say uh, and press it there and then okay that and then I can adjust the aesthetic one and then I can have my other view. Sorry if I'm reducing the volume. I'm sorry whenever I'm doing these practicals, these practicals like this, that change. I don't want to do this. I just want to align these things. Undo, undo, undo. All right. Let me move this to that. Move it again. All right, it's not aligned. So these are research questions. So we can just see how to. Research questions, they are supposed to match with the research objectives. Research questions are supposed to match with the research. Um, research questions match with the uh, research objectives. So now I'm just say how from all these objectives so that they become questions. Right. So these are questions now. This is just a simple, a simple document, a simple standard document. Mm, right on literature review. Yeah, that's where you write a lot of good inventive. My numbering was affected. It took this kind of number. Why did it do that? 
changing the number of model this list of this list of them. No, 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 no. I'm going to do that. What happened? What happened when I was playing around with those? So it happened when I was <coughs> editing here. So there I I wanted to edit it. This is this. Yeah. Try to exit me. And then I just that. And then take that. Put the alignment. Alright. And then apply the hull. Yeah. So what I want to do is take that and paste it there. Paste it there. Paste it there. Please just follow what I'm doing here. Uh, uh, I'm having a challenge of automatically reducing the volume. So in the review, I'm just going to paste in some text from some. Let me just say. But I don't want to take text, text with some references because what I want to do here is I want to apply the references after. So let me just copy this text. Alright. Something wrong with it. Right, you can see that it, 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 it must have affected this, this surface as well. So, meaning to say, heading 2 is the one that is affected here. So, heading 2, heading 2, I want it to be numbered. Let me just say 9. Which was it? Right, let me. It means heading 2 is the one that is. Let me just modify it, heading the that part. I'm observing that heading 2 is the one that is um, numbered like that. So, I want to just uh, set number and volume. Set me a list. Yeah, I don't want to number this. So I can click uh, and remove this number. Right. And go down there. And remove the And let's say 1.5. And this is 1.6. 1.6. This is the one, six, and then this is one point seven. And these are the muscles that you get when you are writing the thesis or any uh, any document. And I suppose press and press the This heading to yes. So there's a map on the face. And it has a map on the map. Let me just highlight it and click there. And it says no numbered. And then I'll just move it. Right. 
So only if you review what I'm going to do is I want to paste some text here. So this is the text I'm going to just find. Alright, so let's just say I don't want to have a very big paragraph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a number of citations in there. And I'm going to have uh, some paragraphs. <sighs> so let's say I have you now know how to end these uh, these documents so i'm going to add to one two three four five one two three four five documents into the list so i might be quiet but i'll move as fast as i can so that i do not waste uh, your time and your data so i'll move as fast as i can on adding these citations so let me zoom in so that you can see this one you can observe that these are the two others and this is the title and then maybe this is the, the journal if not mistaken also publishing let's just say also publishing is the is the, is the, the journal for as long as these authors these articles can be can be traced then everything is okay you might make make mistakes on, on uh, the articles details so <clears throat> what i'm going to do is i'll move as fast as i can so here let me just say i want to add uh, not at that right let's just say insert edition there we want to insert a new one this is a journal article and uh, the author is the authors are all right let's get back to the total of the document <coughs> excuse me for that That's the first name. And that's the last. That's the last. Uh, that order. <coughs> and then now uh, this is the same order. Yes, and get <coughs> and get that. And that's those are the two orders of mine. And this is the article <coughs> title. And then the journal again. We don't have the name, but we have, we cannot copy it. So you can see what I was saying. Universities, they can make <coughs> the documents available for you. So what's a publishing? What's up? Then we have here. When was this 2020? You can see it there. See it there. So it's 2020. Maybe I've read, I've read page number one only. So we can edit this. We get to that. And then Whenever you you change these brackets, this end must be this kind of an end. Let's just say they noted that CS is not is so much more than this was in here. And this comma is removed, and then we. We have another one here. <coughs> I don't want 
to use this one. I will cover mainly in the next video. Maybe the third for this one. Continue. This is the jump article. And I don't know what the name of those that I have. It's very rare these days to find a, an article with only one author. People are doing collaborations. So we have these authors. These three authors. This and that, and that, and that, this, this and that, and that, and that, this. <coughs> I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying. Right, click OK, and then the article. Title, title, title of the article. You just copy it here. And then we paste it here. And the journal name. The journal name. Right, the journal others Just copy it and paste it there so that we get we get to know the journal. <coughs> and it's the same thing see um digital web. But it is with a new journal. So you must know which except journal the CM journals. So it is got a lot of journals so we just say ACM digital level. Let's just say ACM digital AC and digital world. Then the year, the year, the year, the year, the year, the year. Let's look at the year, the year, let's look for the year, for the year, for the year. This was 2020. Year. So that's the 2020. The year is 2020. Right. So this one is okay if we leave it like that. And then let's just add another year. And I think this is going to be the last photo. I think this is the last one. So you can see that it's 2020 and the author is one. So uh, uh, here <coughs> we just paste the author. We have a single photo. In case. So let's just paste. You see, I want to check something. You start with the last name and you put a comma and you put the last the first name. And then you go to the title. If I'm wrong, you will see the year is 2020. And then the journal name, the journal name, and this is the date of it. And maybe this was a 
this was a thesis, a published thesis, so you can publish your own thesis. Let's just leave it like that. The thing is, we can get access to it. So, how can D? Let's just check is how can D the last name? Because we are supposed to write the last name, yes. How can D? So, that's how we write it. So, I think we now have our. We now have our um, literature review. And then let's save me. Simple. Simple. We just want to copy it. So you see what I'm doing here. If you want to write your own methodology, you can get how to write it from these sources. Describe the methods of data collection, all these things. So let's just say this is a methodology. It we can come here in control view here. And then we choose this so that we have it formatted like that. So we just write. And then our conclusion. Then we have simple conclusion. Conclusion, conclusion, conclusion. So we know we have more tokens. And it's having two pages. Right? Let's just say uh, one. In upshot. Just copy and abstract and paste it. It's too scientific. Let's keep this one. Paste it there, <coughs> and then you will not touch it. Watch it is just a line there. So, our document remember to keep on saving your documents, right? So, what you do now, take off contents. You can now insert it, you click on references, type of contents, you choose automatic, type of contents, you choose this one, it's not there, and it's a wall. And I do click on here, you can choose to say, I want this to be written to, and it, this must be black. Mm -hmm. 
choose the color here. Put it in black and then we remove this one. And then we have table figures. Let's just add some figures. Let's say in your methodology we have a picture. Let's just say insert picture. I'll just take some of the pictures that I leave. Taking This is our figure, and then maybe we want to format it. Let's have some images there. And each of photos, let's say, we want to use this kind of image, and this is the image that we have. And we can add um, a caption, click the references, insert caption. And then you can see that here we have figure one, but we want to include the chapter. So include chapter number here, and then OK. You can see it's now figure one of one. And then you can add your set title there, you can just say random. A random and symbol picture. So if you want to change the image, you can still change it. Click offline, and then maybe you choose to have maybe that's that's what you want to have is a figure number one. Maybe you want to you see this is named as figure one one, but you will see that if I put another figure here. So, pictures and choose this as another figure. Let me just say this is figure references and then set caption. You see that this is figure 1.1. And simple, let me just say man. Right, you see that this is. Figure out, figure out one, and you observe that this one is automatically changed to figure one, two. So, if I want to have tables, let's say I have a budget. Maybe I have a table here. Insert a table. Then we say item, and then here we say price, and here we say uh, application, and then here we say uh, design, and then maybe here we say research assistance, and then for application is taking. And then the price is in USD, right? USD. And then for quotation is 200. Then design will give you 50. And then research assistant will give you uh, 250. And then we have our total, which is uh, the server. And send the server as well. So if I write, so I say total, right, and then we insert a caption. Now this is not figure, but it's a table, so you can change the label to table, and then numbering, 
and increment chapter number and OK. So the chapter number that is being taken is tipo, um, So if I come, if I click on table of tables here, yeah, I can click on references, then insert table figures, and in this case the label is table, right? It is okay. And I can click OK. And then my table is just one. <coughs> then table of figures, insert, and here I change the table and then click on figure. Now I have all my Set. Now what is left only is the cover page. The cover page is the only thing that is left. Everything else set. So you see that I have only two references. So I want to update it. Update citations. Now I have one, two, three, four, five. And it's sorted. So normally these speakings on its own page so uh, is there person? but i don't want to do this before completing the document because what will happen is when i change the content at the top of the document some pages are going to move right i can as well update this can see that it's changing right so the cover page is a single page like that all right so that's the cover page so now the cover page is page number one and two so page number uh, this i want it to have borders so that is it page borders Wanted to have page borders of this type, and I want this section only. Page borders. Let me choose this one. First page only. Right. So only my first page is going to have this border. So the cover page, that's it. So I can choose the logo. And just say and get the logo. And just download the logo. And the internet. And get this one copy image. And just say save image as and I'm going to save the image uh, in my library on the desktop then I go there and click insert picture and then I go to desktop library insert so this is the image I can click on I want it to be at the center and then okay from there I can say genuine of tip and then center and you can say school of engineering science and technology. Put my name, Shetsa, Nati. Then just below, I can put my right number. See the material. Yeah, you put your own right number. So that's my right number. You, you are supposed to put your own actual version number here. And then you can say you are in flat room. 
is the level 14. SIT Bachelor mm. of Science Bachelor of Engineering So let's just say BSIT Right, I think that's it uh, if you have any other information, you can as well get the mail you can say supervised by Mojaina to ensure. And I want all of these to be in capital letters. Like yes. And I want all of these to have um, this size. And I want this to be bolded. So you can see our, our, our cover page is now set. Our cover page is now set. Mm. Simple. Simple as that. And then we can play, 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 play. I'm clicking on delete so that I can get rid of these pieces. Right, so this is my table of contents, which I need to like that. Then uh, table of figures must start on its own page. Enter, 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 enter. When you press enter, make sure that you are highlighting this number. Otherwise, you will have a link headings. If you do it this way, like this, you can see that I'm leaving empty spaces there. So if you have it, click it, and click on normal, click it, and click on normal. And then press enter, 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 enter. And then abstract this to be on its own page as well. Right and enter, 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 enter. Each chapter must be given its own page like this. Right, let's go to references. So references must also go to their own page. Must begin on its own page. <coughs> right, we now have our nine pages document but it doesn't have page numbers right so you can see so let's have let's insert page numbers insert page number let's just say bottom center bottom center which is there now we have our page numbers there that's okay double click in there now I have two documents, page numbers, but the first page, I don't want page number in there. So what I want to do is, I click at the end of the document, and click on insert, and then I click on page layout, sorry, and then breaks, I say next page, and then here, on page number, I say remove page numbers, and it's okay. And you can see that I no longer have page numbers. I no longer have page numbers, and this one is now having borders. So I can go to page layout, the design sorry, page borders, and I can click on menu. And then okay. Mm -hmm. Don't click on none. Don't click on okay. I don't know. Yes, like that. So this section, I can add page numbers. You see, and now I have page numbers. 
so let me add page numbers from this page and I can set these numbers position center so this is page number two and this is page number one so here I can click page number format page numbers and um, continue from previous let me just say let me just save it as page number but I want it to be numbered so okay let me leave it like that and then let me go to the last to the abstract so my abstract from here going forward I want I want from this document going upwards I want it to be numbered in this format in a certain format so I click page here what in it then next page and after that what I do is I go down to here and then page number for more page numbers then I can start it one from this page so from here you can see it's page number five but I don't want it to be page number five in that number in the format so what I do is here I can say page number from a page number I want it to be numbered like this we started that and continue and then this is done right and this one I want it to be numbered in this format from a page number start it one but I want it to be of that format I can say okay you can see this is page number I one two three and this is four and then we start one two three and four but we have nine pages now let's go to our table of contents What happens? What happens here? All right, got it. But you can now see the number two, three, four, the page number one, the number two, three, three, four. Now the standard document is complete. This is the standard document that we have. This is the standard document that we have. So page this one this cover page normally doesn't have page numbers. So what you can do you can delete it and press OK and then double click it. And so by doing so you now have uh documents like that. So that's it for this lecture. We've learned how to number the document and how to write a standard document chapter like that. Please um, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like, comment, and share with your colleagues. Let's meet next time when we. I'm sure that someone is about to send me some uh, previous exam papers for us to, 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 to revise. So keep checking in this YouTube channel, keep checking the fixtures, keep checking new content. Uh, so I encourage you to subscribe. I encourage you to subscribe. I encourage you to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, share. Goodbye. May God bless you for being present to this uh, online YouTube content. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. I wish you all the best in everything that you do in your life. Goodbye.